is it? January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah. yeah, shit. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but I have hit my six month mark. It's been six full months since my big chop, which is crazy. I cannot believe how fast time has flown. So the natural hair journey is a never ending process. Like you're always continuously trying new products, continuously learning your hair and learning different techniques and experimenting and everything. And within these past six months, I feel like I've learned a lot, but at the same time, I feel like I still have so much more to learn as well. So I figured with my little half a year milestone, I'd jump on here and do like a more chatty video all about natural hair. We're going to chat about everything I've learned over the past six months, things I love, things I don't love, challenges that I've overcome, all of the above. So if you're interested in hearing about any of that, just continue to watch. All right. So six months, six months, that's half a year. Like I cannot believe honestly how fast time has flown i guess time flies when you're having fun it is so cheesy but um it really has been a fun journey for me so far you know it's funny this top that i'm wearing today is actually the same exact top that i wore on the day that i big chopped and i honestly did not plan it i just woke up and put this on i had some errands to run and now i'm filming and i realized holy shit this is the same top that i big chopped in that's funny so when I big chop back in December, I would say that I had maybe about an inch or less of hair, um, way less on the sides. Like you could see my scalp on the sides. It was kind of crazy. Looking back, I, I never ever felt like it was that short, but now that my hair has grown, looking back at those photos, I'm like, holy cow, my hair was short. It was popping. I loved it. If you were interested in hearing more about like my big chop story and like why I decided to big chop, why I even decided to go natural in the first place, I have a really in-depth video on all of that that I've posted already. So I'd recommend that you see that video first before you watch this one. So I'll link it somewhere up here so you can check that out. Yeah, so because I started out with my hair so short, like I really... From then up until now, like I've really seen my hair and my curl pattern just go through so many different changes. When it was at its shortest, I would say my hair was a little bit fluffy. Like it wasn't as defined. It was very, very loose curls. I mean, there wasn't much hair for it to even curl up. So my hair kind of stayed in that stage for a little bit. Um, as it got longer, I would have to use my fingers and finger coil my hair to get better curl definition. But my hair really responded well to finger coiling. Um, they just looked juicy and bouncy and just little ringlets. It was all super cute, a little bit time consuming. Like it got more and more time consuming, obviously, as my hair grew but the finger coiling was like my major key. Like I did that every single day. Literally every morning I was just coiling my hair and that's what I had to do to get proper definition. So then after my hair started to grow a little bit longer, I actually realized that my curls started to curl themselves. Not only were they starting to curl up more on their own, it was like a different curl pattern than I was used to. So when I was finger coiling, it was very much ringlets because that's just how you coil your hair. Um, but as my hair grew, I realized that I had a lot of natural S curls that kind of like this let me see if I can find one in here for you if you see this curl it's kind of it's like zigzaggy it's not like a perfect circle like a perfect ringlet um, so I realized like my hair is not ringlets at all it's very much the S curl type curls so one day I woke up and realized like my hair was kind of curling up on its own and it was weird because Finger coiling was all I'd known at that point. That is how I styled my hair. That's what worked for me every single time. Got rid of frizz, gave me the definition I wanted, and it was like magic. It was match made in heaven. But then my hair decided to grow a little bit longer. The curl pattern started to change, and it was like 
pushing me outside of my comfort zone one more time because I really just had to relearn, okay, what does my hair want from me now? It obviously isn't really accepting the finger coiling anymore. Plus, it's so long that that would take me way too long anyway. So I had to just experiment again. So yeah, for your natural hair journey, I believe that there are so many different stages that you have to go through with your hair. And I think it's, I think it's awesome because as a person who hasn't had natural hair, like I didn't remember what my hair was like at all because I've lived majority of my life with relaxed hair. But I kind of appreciate these little stages of getting to know my hair because it's more manageable at this length. And by time my hair is long and flowing and glowing and grown, I would have mastered everything. So I really appreciate like the stages that I get to go through by big chopping. That's like one of my favorite things about having big chopped. So yeah, changing curl patterns is a huge one. I feel like at the stage I'm at right now, like every week my hair is a little bit different. Like literally every weekend I'm like, Ugh, what do you want from me now? But it just keeps me on my toes and I actually really like it. I just experiment with a bunch of different products. It's kind of fun for me, honestly. Let me do a quick length comparison. The shrinkage is real. So at six months, we are now at the tip of the nose. Ah! That's so exciting. I'm actually really excited by my hair growth. I'm at the stage right now though, where I am itching to be able to just put it back in a ponytail. Like before I was just like, all right, you know, rocking my TWA and no problem. Like I really am so happy not having to put my hair up in a bun and having to mess with it. I just wet it and go. So yeah, as of late, I've just been itching for it to be longer. My hair is long enough to go back in like one big poof. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that. I don't know what it is. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what it is. I'm at a very awkward stage. Right now it doesn't look like it. I've picked my hair out so she's standing upright and everything's okay. But when I wet my hair, like when I refresh my curls in the morning, they, it's, it's long enough to where it wants to start dropping down, but it's not long enough to be dropping down yet. It's just not, it just looks, it kind of falls, let me show you. It falls kind of like this when it's wet and I just look like a mushroom head. So I am going through a minor awkward stage at the moment. I do not like to go anywhere with my hair wet anymore because it just, just, it just falls at a really awkward place and it's not my favorite. Well, needless to say, my pick has become my best friend because once my hair is fully dry, I just pick it up and then, and then she'll stand up. Like she's standing up today. We're good. So this little awkward stage that I'm going through has me kind of considering some protective styles now. I have not done one protective style since I big chopped, mainly because my hair was so short. I think at this stage it's long enough to do braids, so summer 18 or no. There are also a few things throughout these past six months that I've had to work through and overcome. And one of those things was appreciating my own natural hair within the workplace. So if you don't know, I work in events for a law firm. So it's a very corporate businessy environment. And society has told us that natural hair is not professional per se. Like you almost get ashamed to rock your natural hair, which at this point, like that sounds so ridiculous for me to say. Um, but it's true, like society has really brainwashed us and taught us that you gotta have dead straight slick back hair to look professional. And that's something that I really had to work through. I was lucky because my boss at the time, she went natural. Um, my current manager now, she's also natural and has a cute little teeny weeny afro like me. So I was lucky like through seeing them who are successful businesswomen rocking their natural hair and killing it at their career. Like to see that for me was huge and it really helped me accept my own natural hair. I don't think that anyone should be defined by their hair. I think it was at least at about like the three month mark when I realized like this is my hair and I'm gonna own it. I absolutely love it. 
and no one can tell me otherwise about my hair. No one can say it's unprofessional. No one can say anything because I love my hair and I know I'm professional at work. So you can't say that just because my hair is curly that it's unprofessional. Don't work that way. Not in 2018. No, hunty, it does not. Another thing that I'm actually more recently starting to have to deal with and overcome is bad hair days. I know you're like, girl, everyone has them. What are you talking about? But like, I haven't had one <laughs> since I chopped. And I don't mean to sound like, oh, I'm, I have the best hair ever. Like, I don't mean to sound like that at all. But my hair was so short that I legitimately, like, there's no such thing as a bad hair day, you know? There was not enough hair for it to be bad. You get me? So now that it's getting longer, the bad hair days are coming because more hair means more frizz. And so now I'm going through something where it's like, I just need to accept my frizz, embrace it, and move right along. Instead of getting frustrated and stuff, I really just, if I'm having a frizzy hair day, I'm having a frizzy hair day and I just let it rock and it's okay because it happens to everyone. So don't ever feel bad. Just continue to experiment and see what can help you, what won't help you. You gotta experiment until you can find what really works for your hair. Which brings me to my next point is that at this stage, I am so happy to say that I do have a few favorite hair care brands and favorite like order of my products. Like, I've got a little routine down pat. Like I know what product is gonna do what with my hair. And I've got like my set of products, like if I know I need my hair to be on its best behavior, I know exactly which products I'm gonna use. I actually recently posted a video on here all about my favorite natural hair products. So I will link that up here if you wanna check that out as well. So all in all, right now I feel nothing but happiness. A little bit of anxiousness for my hair to just hurry up and just be long and luscious but besides that i'm feeling super happy confident so just grateful and excited i'm so glad that i went natural like i honestly i look back on pictures of me with my relaxed hair and i'm just like i am excited to now start considering more protective styles now that my hair is a little bit longer all right and my advice for someone who's currently on this journey, who's considering going on this journey, I would say the number one thing is to be patient and to not take yourself too seriously. Curly hair is unpredictable. It's wild and it's fun and it's diverse and it's amazing. And I think that sometimes with the way society is set up, it's very easy to think that there's something wrong with that, with how wild your hair is. Um, but if you just be patient and accept it and just learn to embrace it, it will be a beautiful thing, honey. Beautiful. Another piece of advice is know that you're in it for the long haul. So this is specifically if you are big chopping. Well, I guess any kind of natural hair journey is long because transitioning is even longer. So know from the beginning that you are in it for the long haul and don't do not give up. Do not go through all that work. Do not go through the big chop and then start flat ironing your hair or bleaching your hair only for you to have to go back and big chop again. Just keep going, stay disciplined and know that it's a long haul but you can have fun on the way. If you're gonna use your diffuser, I would say use it on the cold setting. Just want to really treat your hair like a little baby, you wanna be super kind to it and watch them girls flourish. I said girls, but I meant to say curls. But yeah guys, that is my six month update. I seriously, I seriously, every time I say six months, I can't even believe it. I feel like I big chops like yesterday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for you. Please, if you are going through your own natural hair journey, comment below like what stage are you at? Like I love to see those kind of things. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey. But wait, before you leave, I'm gonna put my little subscribe button and another video for you to watch in case, you know, you just wanna keep watching me. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.